Jack, unbelievable finish. Uh, you've, you've done it, you're in the last eight. Yeah, uh, probably my part got so squeaky at the end. Um, I probably should have just stayed in the more privacy and not got held up, but outstanding fight from some of the boys in the pitch there, you know, going into extra time, still working their absolute socks off was truly phenomenal. Um, and that's, that's 1 to 23. Um, you know, we challenge ourselves a bit on work rate and it's been kind of pushing it on the ball and off the ball. And I think some boys really stood up and shone today. Rob talked about the emotional feeling that was out there and that, but fair play to Montpellier, the, the red card seemed to galvanise them a little. It really did, and you kind of find that sometimes. When, when a team loses the men, they almost they focus in really well. And I think Montpellier, you know, they're a fantastic outfit, really dangerous side. And I think they were really stretching us a man down. Um, and that's, you know, full credit to the calibre of players they go and how they play. Um, thankfully, we just managed to stay in the fight and keep, keep going at them um, after, and got on the right side of it. After the week that was last week, there was a lot of tough talking. Character had to be shown today, and you've shown that right to the end. Yeah, I think the big one as well was, you know, it was a huge, huge occasion for debuters and we let him down. We didn't perform, we didn't give him a kind of, a proper, not, not a send-off, but a proper, Chief kind of, performance. yeah, we didn't give him a proper moment. And he wasn't able to fully celebrate because we just didn't turn up. Um, we didn't give ourselves opportunities to be good and I think we did that today. Um, and, and, you know, like I said earlier, there were some boys that really put their hands up and, and shone for us. We haven't seen Sandy Parton like that for a long, long time come the end. That was, it was bouncing, wasn't it? Do you know what? I loved it. It was, um, I think when boys pour their emotion into it on the pitch, I think the fans get right behind it. And I think they were absolutely brilliant. You know, there's times in that second half, you know, at one point as I was running back, Daff was, was giving it beans to the crowd and they, you know, they picked up the noise so much. And they're unbelievable. I think, you know, particularly in a game where it goes to extra time and boys are shattered, it makes such a difference. It's such a huge difference. So, fans, thank you very much. Keep doing it, please. 250 appearances for you, though. Special milestone moment. And 150 for Nolsey. You know, he's going to be past his new next year, but you're still here. Um, it's been a good day for you, though, both of you. Yeah, you know, Nolsey played outstanding today. Um, he's one of those players who still put his hands up. And, you know, if it wasn't for the niggly little injuries and being an international hero, I'm sure he'd be on loads, loads more. Um, yeah, nice for me to have a run around um, on that number as well. Fantastic to do at the age of 23 as well, so hopefully I can add a few more. Stormers uh, here next week in the last eight. People are, are no, have said in the past, you know, you'll come up against top opposition, you will in Europe. But you've beaten Toulouse here, you've beaten some of the best sides. Stormers next then? We've got our back ourselves, haven't we? And that's, that's probably one thing that we have been really good at is our home form this season. Um, and like we spoke about earlier, if we can get the fans behind us, start showing some real emotion on the pitch, we back ourselves completely. We've just got to make sure we get ourselves right in the week now on a short turnaround, get the bodies right, get that emotional reset, and we've got to pour absolutely everything into it next week. Enjoy tonight, mate. Cheers.